Hey, how's everybody doing? Hey, this is Michael M. Hotep, founder of the African History Network, host of the African History Network show. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2017. How's everybody doing today? All right, so I'm getting ready for uh, to do my two-hour segment on Wake Up with Steve Hood on 9, 10 a.m., the Superstation here in Detroit, Thursday morning. But... Um, I wanted to let you know, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm on. We'll be broadcasting here on Facebook Live. But I want to let you know, those in the Detroit area, I want to let you know that uh, Friday, um, August 25th, 2017, 9 a.m. to 12 noon, I will be the guest speaker for Coffee, Breakfast, and Business. Coffee, Breakfast, and Business. This is taking place out in Oak Park, Michigan, 25. 900 Greenfield Road, Suite 326, 25900 Greenfield Road, Suite 326, Oak Park, Michigan. And I'm going to deal with the 13 forms of wealth, the 13 forms of wealth, keys to economic empowerment and entrepreneurship for uh, African Americans, keys to economic empowerment and entrepreneurship for African Americans. So this presentation here deals with um, different types of wealth and it deals with different traits that successful entrepreneurs need to possess all right and oftentimes when we talk about wealth people just think about money but there are 13 different forms of wealth and we know that 13 is a, uh the number of uh transformation and resurrection also number 13 uh as well very important number all right um, so, uh, a lot of times people just think about money, but money is not even number one. Money is, uh, money is not number one. Money is number three. Okay. Uh, knowledge is number one. All right. So we're going to deal with different types of wealth. Whether you're talking about, uh, uh, understanding your history and culture, whether you talk about time management skills or health. So we're going to, uh, I, I lay this out, show how it applies to entrepreneurship but also tie history into it as well. So before we can talk about wealth creation or different types of wealth, we have to understand who we are as African people. And we have to understand that our foundation is African history and culture, which gives us our VIPs, our values, our interests, and our principles. Our values, our interests, and our principles. And it influences the way we think, feel, act, and behave it influences our economic empowerment and our economics influences our politics. So if the foundation is not in place, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you will continue to spend 97% of our dollars with people that don't look like us because the foundation is not in place. Okay. So everybody watching, please share this broadcast on your own Facebook page. Okay. Please share this on broadcast on your own Facebook page. So a lot of times you have people who talk about, well, we need to focus on wealth creation. We need more money, et cetera. If you don't correct the, the thinking of African people, if we don't correct our mindset, we could have a $10 trillion economy as opposed to a $1.3 trillion economy, and we'll still spend 97% of our dollars with people that don't look like us. And one of the things I'll deal with is the difference between wealth creation and economic empowerment. Wealth creation is fine, but wealth creation and economic empowerment are not the same thing. This is why the people who say, well, we need to focus on wealth creation, I challenge them on this. Because we could all have a stock portfolio valued at $1 million and still spend 97% of our dollars with people that don't look like us. So the wealth creation is fine but it has to be transformed into economic empowerment, mean, meaning that we control the economics in our community, we own the land, we own the homes, we, could, we own the majority of the businesses, we own the land that the businesses sit on, we control the uh, politics in our community, we control the, the policing, control the educational system, okay? That's economic empowerment. Wealth creation just means accumulating wealth, all right? You can accumulate wealth, but not own the businesses, not own the media, not control the media in your community, not own the gas stations, the radio stations, the TV stations, the newspapers. You could have wealth creation, wealth accumulation, 
but not have it actualized into economic empowerment. So you have some people that, that, that focus on wealth creation. No, the focus should be on economic empowerment. What do you do after you accumulate the wealth? And how do you accumulate the wealth? But specifically, what do you do after you accumulate the wealth? So we have to focus on economic empowerment. So my presentation is going to be on the 13 forms of wealth, keys to economic empowerment and entrepreneurship for African Americans. This is a free event. Come on out. Coffee, breakfast, and business. They'll um, have um, they have free breakfast there uh, as well. This is a good networking event. Bring your business cards. This takes place every Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 noon, um, 25900 Greensfield Road, Suite 326 in Oak Park, Michigan, uh, 48237, 25900 Greenfield Road, Suite 326, Oak Park, Michigan. Uh, the phone number there is 888-312-0021, uh, 888-312-0021. Uh, and they have these every Friday. It's um, designed for African Americans to come and network um, and to learn a different aspect of business. So I incorporate when I deal, you know, I've taught entrepreneurship for nine years, my degrees in business business administration with a major in marketing. I've, I've taught at uh, entrepreneurship at the community college level. I've, I've done business consulting for um, nonprofit organizations. I've taught entrepreneurship for nonprofit organizations. So when I deal with this, I incorporate history into it also. So we deal with some history of the African presence in this country before uh, slavery started. We deal with, uh, we talk some about the 800 year occupation of Europe by the Africans known as the Moors. Um, we also deal with the, um, the Black Bank movement as well that's taking place because I deal with redistributing the pain. Um, redistributing the pain of those inflicted pain upon us through, uh, through economic withdrawal strategies. Um, and we deal some with Dr. King in his last speech. He said that we have to always anchor our external direct action with the power of economic withdrawal. We have to always anchor our external direct action with the power of economic withdrawal. And um, he talked about supporting African-American owned businesses, put our, putting our money in um, African-American owned banks. So, we transition from economic empowerment to leveraging our dollars and recycling our dollars with African American owned businesses, but also redistributing the pain to those who are inflicting pain upon us through different types of economic withdrawal strategies. Okay. So this is taking place Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 noon at um, 25900 Greensfield Road, Suite 326 in Oak Park, Michigan, which is right outside of Detroit. It's a free event. Come on out Friday, August 25th, 2017. Uh, I have my I have a table set up. I have my DVD lectures there as well. This presentation is on DVD at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com also. And I'll be recording this um, this ses I'll be recording this presentation here. So if you order the 13 Forms of Wealth, you'll get the new presentation that, that I'm doing uh, Friday. AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com uh, is our website. Okay, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm not sure if you all, you know, I'm broadcasting to Google Chrome. I'm not sure if you all are posting comments, so I have to look here on my phone. How's everybody doing this evening? Um, and then, you know, Thursday mornings I do my segment on uh, 9, 10 a.m. The Superstation, The Voice of Detroit. Uh, wake up with Steve Hood, 7 a.m. to uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm on, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., so I'll be on uh, Thursday morning, so uh, watch out for that also. We'll broadcast here uh, on Facebook 7 Live. 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, let me check everything. So uh, watch out for that Okay, also. we'll broadcast on Facebook Live as well. Uh, I'm going to post uh, the information here from my website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. Um, all of my DVD lectures, are, all of my DVD lectures are there. Podcasts on my shows, everything there at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. Okay, all right. Um, then also Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Renoko Rashidi is in Detroit. Uh, he's doing a presentation um, 
Friday and Saturday at True Oracle of God Ministries Church. True Oracle of God Ministries Church, uh, 1500 East State Fair. Um, a lot of people are familiar with Renoko Rashidi. He's, he's a historian. Uh, I just interviewed him Friday. I'm sorry, Sunday. I just interviewed him Sunday. Uh, he, he's a historian, an anthropologist, um, writer, author. He's doing a presentation uh, Friday and Saturday, two-part presentation dealing with um, the African presence in America before slavery, the African presence in America before slavery. And he's also going to deal with uh, Marcus Garvey also, okay? Um, but this is taking place Friday at 6.30 p.m. Uh, it'll go up to about 9 or 9.30 p.m. And then uh, Saturday, it's 2 p.m. to um, about 6 five or six. We'll post the information here. But you can go to drrenoco.com, drrenoco.com for more information. drrenoco.com. Um, we just posted the information there. You can also call 323-803-8663. Uh, 323-803-8663. Or 313-718-6008. 313-718-6008. Admission is $12.50 per day. And then also at his website, he has information about the um, tour of the Detroit Institute of Arts he's doing uh, on Sunday, August 27th, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. also. Okay. And that tour, tour is going to um, deal with the African presence in early America also. Okay. All right, so check that out, those in the Detroit area. Hope to see you all in, uh, at uh, those in the Detroit area. Hope to see you all uh, Friday, August 25th in Oak Park, Michigan. Uh, when I do my presentation, 13 Forms of Wealth, Keys to Economic Empowerment and Entrepreneurship for African Americans. You don't want to miss that. 25900 Greenfield Road, Suite 326, Oak Park, Michigan. As soon as you get off the elevator, make a right. It's the first suite on your right, okay? All right, guys. Um, okay, Ralph said, any PDF material you can share? Uh, no PDFs, but go to our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. A lot of information there, my DVD lectures, audio podcasts of our shows, recommended reading list of books, uh, a lot of information there, okay? Um, Okay, look, we got to get out of here. I have to get out of here. I have to get ready for um, the show in the morning because I have to drive to the radio station. And it's early in the morning. It's 7 a.m. I have to be on the air. So, hey, remember, at the African History Network, we focus on, uh, oh, also, uh, on Fridays, um, normally Fridays, you know, uh, you can sign up for the online course that I do, Ancient Kemet, the Moors, and the Ma'afa, Understanding the Transatlantic Slave Trade with a Den Teacher in School, Ancient Kemet, the Moors, and the Ma'afa. Understanding the Transatlantic Slave Trade where they didn't teach you in school. This is a 12-hour, six-week online course that I teach. Uh, we deal with thousands of years of history, thousands of years of um, African history. We deal with events leading up to the Transatlantic Slave Trade also. Okay. So um, it's a 12-hour, six-week online course that I teach. And you can register for that also. Uh, we're going to post the information here. Uh, normally, it's on Friday, 7 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this week is going to be on Saturday because I'll be with Renoko Rashidi on um, Friday evening. So we're going to do it on Saturday, 7 p.m., Saturday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And all the sessions are recorded. So uh, as soon as you watch, as soon as you register, you can watch uh, session number one and session number two that we did uh, the past two weeks. Session number three is coming up uh, Saturday, August 26th, okay? All the sessions are recorded, and there's about 20 hours of bonus content, okay? The course is only $40. You can register for that. We just posted the link there. Um, and um, it says uh, register here, and we'll go ahead and uh, pin that also. I'll pin that so it stays there also. Okay. All right. So we got some people uh, watching us from Africa. 
our brothers and sisters doing in Africa as well. Okay. Register for that online course. Oh, you can tune in from around the country. Uh, you can watch it. Uh, you can watch the sessions over and over again. Like I said, as soon as you register, you can watch session number one and session number two that we did the past two weeks, and we have 20 hours of bonus content you can watch also. Okay. Um, look, I got to get out of here. Hey, remember at the African History Network, we focus on educating, empowering, and inspiring people of African descent throughout the diaspora and around the world, because right now it's correct your own behavior. Uh, what you do for yourself, what you do to yourself, and what you allow other people to do to you is based upon what you think about yourself. Um, what you do to yourself, what you, what you do uh, to yourself, what you do for yourself, and what you allow other people to do to you is based upon what you think about yourself. What you think about yourself is based upon what you have been taught about yourself. What you've been taught about yourself is based upon everything you've read, heard, and seen about yourself. Okay? So remember, a people's history and culture teaches them how to deal with the problems of the past in the present and the future, how to deal with the problems of the past in the present and the future to meet their needs and solve their problems because things happen in cycles, okay? So a people's history and culture teaches them how to deal with the problems of the past in the present and the future to meet their needs and solve their problems. All right. So we got to get out of here right now. It's correct wrong behavior. It's not over till we win. We'll talk to you next time.